What is going on, everybody, man? What's happening? What's going on out there, man? How are we doing? Before we get started, definitely share the stream. We're going to go over some of the results from the Coventry Lyman camp. So definitely, uh, we're going to check out some of the results from the Coventry Lyman Challenge that went on this weekend. We got all the results, man, down to the everything. Like, we got it all laid out, but I want to have a big, big thank you to Mark Wright, Coel Bankers, Coastal Homes. You're looking to buy a house, you have some questions, give Mark a call. Big shout out to Rally Point, the only way to stand is together. So before we go off and get into what's going on with the Coventry, we're going to see what all these programs did. We're going to see what Central was able to do. Westley up there with two teams. Bishop Hendrickson, Situate even showed up. Salute to Situate, showing up and showing out over there. Big salute to um, Recover Rhode Island. Go check them out at Recover Rhode Island on Instagram if you're looking to get back on the field. Soon, uh, the Breakthrough Elite Championship, man. Blizzy Blake winning that championship, beating out Team Yellow, the favorite. So I want to give my big, my sponsors a big, um, give them their props, and we'll be right back with the Coventry Lyman Challenge results. Activities. All content provided by this channel is meant only for educational purpose only. Get ready, it's coming. You hunting or you running? Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. It's coming. Nah, it's coming, man. That's what it's all about, right? Getting over there to Cranston Stadium. But before we even get to the season, look at this. Look at this. We're going to bring you. See, nobody does this. Who does this in the past, right? We get to see what our linemen did at the camps. Next year, I was talking to Coach Goodhart, Coach Cop. It's going to be crazy over there um, at the linemen challenge. So we're going to check it out. How is everybody doing out there? Um, shout out to you guys. The breakthrough went off yesterday. Uh, Coach Blizzy Blake over there. Um, Team Pink winning. You know, SK can pass the ball. SK has receivers, man. And But we see SK running a lot. SK had some players over there in the breakthrough league. Um, look at these guys, man. Some big kid right there in the middle. This is Bishop Hendrickson's line that they sent. You know, so we're going to look right here. Here we have, um, okay, so this event is, oh, this must be the total. Okay. So let's see, where do we want to start? All right. Um, I think the, the 40 yard sleigh, I think, was the first event. So let's look at this. Oh, I didn't want to do that. There we go. This was the first event, the 40-yard 
Slapo over there at Coventry. Can everybody hear me? Can I get a thumbs up if you can hear me? Holler to the people. I'll be like, yo, we can hear you. We can hear you. <laughs> um, It looks like right here. Now, Wesley brought two teams, and I'm thinking that the Doc Blue was for the older Wesley guys. Yup, yup. Shout out Bishop Hendrickson. You know, doing their thing. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it, Josh. Now, it looks like the dark blue was the Westerly upperclassmen. And the light blue was the the young guys up at Westerly. And the young guys did pretty good, too. So, on a 40-yard sleigh drive, the comp um, Westerly did it as a team. The lowest team got their time. It looks like Westerly was 116. Then Pilgrim, right behind, you know, Pilgrim. Definitely has their kids in shape. Uh, salute to Blizzy Blake and that whole staff. Um, Blake has a great staff over there at Pilgrim. Bringing on Jordan Kohler now, the new defensive coach over there, defensive coordinator coming. You know, Wes Warwick guy right there. Josh Gannett, the JV head coach and the D-line. Mike Lorado, offensive assistant. Matt Deegan. Yo, Matt Deegan. Is that the same Matt Deegan from South County? What was he on? NK or? Whoa. Um, Scott Aldridge, offensive line. Zach Taze, running back, linebacker coach. You got to give it to him. Yeah, definitely big shout out to the 401. 401 getting it, you know, doing it big. We're just trying to pick up. Uh, guys, you know, trying to get get them out there. Um, so Coventry, Coventry, you know, definitely has some dudes. Kilgore should be, uh, if Pilgrim had a Hall of Fame, Kilgore should definitely be in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, he definitely works, and he has them ready. They were ready. Uh, if you're gonna go to Emerson's gym, you are not gonna slack off or um. Or get it the easy way, that's for sure. Um, yeah, Emerson really makes them guys work at his program. So Coventry did it in 125. Um, and then you had Hendrickson coming in fourth in that event. East Providence coming in, rounding up the top five. And then Coventry's second team, I would think that would be their younger team. And then Westerly's younger team. And then Situate. And then Central. Central starting off at a slow spot. You know, finishing, um, you know, a few points right behind Situate. And I give Situate a lot of credit for just showing up to this event and really showing out. Um, salute to what they have going on up there at Situate. On the 75, now I'm probably not going to go in order because I don't know how these are arranged. But the 75 yard fireman carry all week, I said, you're going to be carrying a dummy. No, not that type of dummy. Um, Central ends up getting that one, you know, with 218, and Hendrickson was right behind them. NK was supposed to come to this event. Why was NK not at this event? Somebody said that NK didn't come to this event because Hendrickson and Central was there. Maybe they don't want people to see what kind of line they have, you know, but. Yeah, NK did not show up. And I think more schools, there was only six schools at this event. As much as we talked about it, salute to Keith Croft, Bishop Hendrick and staff for doing their thing because they showed up. Pilgrim showed up. East Providence showed up. Situate showed up. Westerly showing up. But more programs could have showed up. This was <clears throat> It was $10 per kid for this event. More teams could have showed up. So you see what they did in the 75-yard fireman carry. You could see. I don't think I have to go through all the numbers here. All right. We'll go. That one was kind of towards the end. The 50-yard tire flip. Pilgrim. Now, this this event was done as a, as a team, not drive the tire, flip it. Um, and I'm sure by the time this event came, their legs had to be getting stringy, man. Their legs. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> a lot of guys said it was a good, good time. Where's my drink? A lot of guys said it was a good time. So the fifty-yard tire flip, 
Pilgrim, you know, flipping them tires over there. And then Westerly, of course, you know, them guys are big. And I'll show you when, when, when we look at some of the pitches from this event. And Hendrickson and then Central always neck and neck coming in next to each other. East Providence rounding out the top five. And then um, Coventry, Westerly, Coventry, and then Situate again. But like I said, big salute to Situate for showing out, you know, for showing up and, and doing their thing their thing they have um they're gonna be all right up there the 50 yard slay strong man this is when you're pulling it toward you if i'm not mistaken pilgrim took this event as well because the per the team with the least score won the event you know so pilgrim hendrickin and central and then you had westerly the young guys actually got in over the big dogs up there on this event. The young guys, I heard the two Westerly teams were like challenging each other. And then the two Coventry teams as well, the young guys put it to the older guys over at Coventry, East Providence, and then Situate. The 10 yard move. The mountain. The central ends up getting this one. This was when you were moving a 45 pound plate from one place to another. And then the Westerly Varsity team comes in second in this event. Coventry Varsity team comes in third, followed by the Coventry JV team coming in fourth. And then Hendrickin picking up fifth. And then you had Pilgrim East Providence situate in the JV. Westerly team coming in last on this event. Where's the agility one? Let's see. Uh... Now, the 135 pound bench until failed. This was a tough one towards the end of the event. And I think this one showed what teams are working out central comes in with 141 reps to win this part of the competition and next season i'm going to talk to coach good i think we're going to have awards for a lot of these things um this was the first year just getting his feet wet you know putting on the event but i think next season we're going to be able to put on a much better event promote it live stream pay, play by play you know and then you had coventry to the Varsity Boys doing 136. If Nick Cop was here, he would have been trying to get that 141. Westerly, the Varsity guys, 126. They were 10 reps behind Coventry. And then Pilgrim coming in at 112. And then it drops down, down to 96. And then the Coventry Junior Varsity squad, 69. Coming in sixth place, and then East Providence with 68, and then Westerly, JV, and Situate pulling in 30 total reps as a team. Now it looked like coming into the before the, the tug of war, it looked like Westerly at that point had the number one seed going going into it and then when it came down to the rounds you can see round three and then at the championship you had hendrickin taking on westerly let me see what else we got here now we can check out uh and if anybody wants these numbers uh Yes, you pull, then drive it. If anybody wants to see these pitches or you want the stats, send me an inbox and I'll send you your team's numbers. I'll send you any of these pitches. Coventry, man. I'll tell you what, when you talk to Coach Goodhart, Coach Goodhart has a thing about saying that um, his boys are small, but I don't know. There was some pretty good-sized kids at that camp, there was a lot of great, good kids. You know, Westerly line, they seem to be getting bigger. 
This is where you're pulling it. <laughs> there we go. Shout out Joey Kaleo. Situate. Situate showing up. The tug of war. I didn't see a lot of strategy. I don't think people talk to their kids about tug of war strategy. Go to Squid Games and watch the tug of war. The tug of war one. There is a lot of strategy to tug of war. And that's to move the mountain. Do we already see all these? All right. And if you go over to the website, you could check out all of the pitches. Um, the same one that you basically registered on uh, Rhode Island Lineman Challenge dot Weebly dot com. So it was it was a very good event. Let's see, what is this one? Yeah, so if you want any of these, um definitely, definitely. Let me know. Uh, today was the start of youth football. The start of youth football, man. And it's already starting. BS already. My inbox already. I'm sure you're not surprised. Did you see my show last night about the Cumberland Clippers denying a, a military veteran a chance to coach football, even though he coached for seven years on that same organization without any problems i mean this guy is a lieutenant colonel um i think his uh special forces or rangers lieutenant colonel uh coach seven years um and the league said that it would be like it would be bad for the league for him to and i was like if our government thinks that you know this guy is a decorative hero then why can he not coach and then i hear today that the cumberland clip is already trying to ban parents from the property and it's like some of these places are public publicly you, know, you just can't ban people from a public park you know just because i don't like the person so i mean this is what we deal with a lot of egos you know um but we want to get into football now we're ready two weeks passing out the pads august gonna be up at yukon for the hendrickin game hendrickin i own a prep the number one quarterback in New York. Iona Prep is, they got some people this season, but that is going to be good. So we're going to have that. That's some, a lot of that's going to be live streamed. Um, I worked it out with my friend, Mr. Croft, that I'm going to be over there, sideline status, and we're going to see how the big boys do it over at Bishop. Hendrickson. I hope Keith remembered remembered that. I'm sure he did. Uh, salute to Keith Croft. Challenge yourself like never before with elite football schools. Keith is doing great, great things over there. Now, see, that's at a reputable school. Not like that uh, that other guy, Kruger guy. You know, Keith is a good school. So go check that out. Elite football school. Challenge yourself. Like never before, elitefootballschools.com. And we can't wait to next season's Lyman Challenge. I think it's going to be be great. And congratulations, man. What can we say about Blizzy Blake winning the 2022 Breakthrough you know, Championship? What was he? A six seed. He knocks off the three. 
Then he knocks off the two. And then he puts, he skunks Mikey Washington and Team Yellow. The three points came off um, a pick. You know, you get three points for a pick at the passing league. But salute to my guy and all his players. Um, Cam Holland is a former, I think he's a former SK that transferred over to Connecticut now. Um, but a lot of these kids, a lot of SK kids, Ryan O'Rourke, Phoenix Ward, Isaiah Carter, Joe Felix, Alden Jones, Miles Crandick, Amani Boomer, shout out to him. His father, big supporter of the program over there at SK. And we found out yesterday, SK runs a lot, but SK got some ballers that could catch the ball as well. Kyle Gass from Norton High School, Massachusetts. Adam Bernstein, another player from Norton High School. Shout out to the 508 617. And Kyle. Swanson, West Warwick High School. I think something happened with him, but um, we, I wasn't sure if he was able to get up there. Yes, shout out to East Providence. Uh, the Lyman Challenge was definitely, definitely great, and we have some pitches that we're showing up here. And the Lyman Challenge is only going to get better, but we need more than six schools to participate. You can't say it was the money. They kept it down to $10 a person. And it would have been cheaper if it was up to Coach Goodhart and, and the staff. You know, salute to Situate for showing up to that challenge and participating. You know, Situate Division Four program, they stepped in. They're the only D4 program to step up. Yeah, shout out to Jumbo over there at EP. Jumbo doing great, great things. Great, great things. I heard East Providence so nice. I heard from a certain um Syracuse line coach. We won't mention any names. He said, that place was so nice, Mikey. I would crawl there and be a DB coach right now. Exactly. And I said the same thing. It was great seeing Situate there and Coach Goodhart. One thing he talked about was the hot that Situate had. And if any community can bounce back from something like that, I think it's the Situate community. I know that the numbers, um, whatever issue they are having in numbers, you know, it's going to be tough anyway after what went on up there after, you know, that, you know, and, and this is where I say that just because you played football, whether it was at a high level or not for four years in high school, you know, just because you won a Super Bowl, that don't mean you're a head coach. Just because you know X's and O's, that don't mean you're a head coach. You know, so head coaching is more than just football. You got to have people skills. You can't be a thief. You can't be a crook. You can't be a weirdo. You have to be a good man. If not, we're going to expose you. Because you see all the stuff going on. Like, pretty soon, once we get all the garbage out, it's going to be just, we're going to be getting football, straight football. You know, uh, and prayers go out to the two Mount Pleasant high school kids that graduated uh, a couple years ago. You know, they had an accident while swimming, so prayers go out to them. But are we ready for pads? We get pads, what, two weeks? We get pads in two weeks? No, not them pads. Yeah, definitely. Oh, oh the first round. Yeah, I think I actually had them up here um well really if anybody kind of goes to um and i was talking about it earlier if you look at tug of war here we go oh yeah i see oh um situate coventry westerly pilgrim i think that was it right there but see they had this set up pretty nice um the TV that they had set up over there. Salute to Coach Goodhart. And I think it's only going to get better each year. 
and I'm sure we'll be willing, you know, get more people involved next year. So if you're just joining us, this, uh, these are the results. This is how you do it. See, everything was on point. They had a big TV set up, but I think next year we are going to do play by play. It's going to be, we're going to be like, let's go. But we have to triple the amount of schools. We got to have 18 to 20 schools. I already know I can count on Pilgrim. We already know Central. We know EP. We already know Westerly. We know Situate's going to be in the house. We know Hendrickin is going to be there. Like anytime, look, people say what they want about Coach Croft, but anytime I have called Coach Croft up and asked him for anything, Coach Croft is there. Shout out Jordan, man. Great event. Had fun supporting our big boys. That's right, man. Jordan is a man. Colleges, pay attention to this guy. You want to talk about formations up the bully? Jordan will come ready with. He's he'll come ready with a playbook. Say, hey, Jordan, you got a playbook? He'll be like, yep. What you need? What you running? So to um Jordan Husserl, man, great, great coach, great father, great man, great friend, and that's what it is like. One thing I heard about both of these events, one was at East Providence and the other, the Lyman Challenge. It said that coaches were getting along, something that people have not seen in a long time. You know, um, one coach said that he's used to one coach being in one corner, another coach being in another corner. But now we're starting to get to know a lot of these coaches. And I think I'm working on it, but I think soon, we're going to have someone from East Providence up on here because how can we not have a representative from the East Bay, the townies? You know, like back in the day, if you had that corduroy East, was it a corduroy East Providence jacket? But if you had that East Providence jacket, you know, and I was saying the same thing today about the Edgewood intruders. If you had an intruders jacket on back in the day, you was a bad boy. But, uh, yeah, we got to get somebody from East Providence up in here to represent. But tell me another program that's going to have. We're going to have a coach every Friday night lights. We're going to have Westerly Bulldogs. Make it happen. Make it happen, man. All these coaches, you know, I got. Okay. I got kind of sick of reaching out to all these coaches. And so they know they are invited. A lot of these coaches are definitely invited on here. I had this conversation with her. So you make it happen. And I never sandbagged any coach. A lot of people, like, they got it wrong about me. Like, and most coaches respect what I do, you know. And you can't. And here's the problem. They can't hurt my credibility. Because anything I say, I sit on it. And I make sure I got the facts. But don't do dirt ball shit. And we won't talk about your bad habits. That's all. Do the right thing. Do the right thing and you got nothing to worry about. And we could just do some positive football. We got Central Falls that's going to come on this year. Um... Central High School, Mikey Washington. Um, Coventry High School, Coach Gary Goodhart. Uh, North Smithfield High School, Jeff Piver. You know, salute to North Smithfield. I hope they get out of their slump, and I hope the superintendent lets these kids play. Like, we don't even know a crime even happened at this point. It's been over a month, and this North Smithfield Police Department, they can't investigate a high school football team. Like, what are you, what are you doing up there? Are you serious? Like, we're, we're investigating a youth football team. Like, I don't know. One officer was heard saying that he's investigating um, an urban legend. You know, like, let these kids at least practice. Because what's going to happen? You're going to come out on the 14th and clear them. And then they don't have 
the physicalness. Like they haven't been working out like Pilgrim, like Westerly has, like like other teams have, like Coventry has, and other programs that work out religiously. So let these kids play up in North Smithfield. Was good big dog, Coach Najee Barrows. I asked her because you know why there is no there is no bias. You know, um, I don't have an agenda, and the people that advertise with me, Coach Dunbar, um, like other people, other people that advertise with me, they know what I'm, they know what I say and what I do. You know, um, Keith Croft with Elite, like they know what I'm capable of, but they know I don't cross that line, and they also know that I never attacked anybody that that didn't have it have it coming and I never would and I never would absolutely not Yeah, this was definitely a great, a great event. Um, I appreciate everybody's support. You know, and I hope more coaches want to come on the program. Don't be scared. I told Jimmy Cook one day, it's like going to the doctors. You're only scared until you get there. Then you sit in the chair and it's not that bad. I never sandbagged any coach. A pancake eating contest on the next one. Wings work too. Who would you have that against? Who wants to have a pancake eating contest with Najee, man? Salute to Najee. This was a great day. Yes, it was. Good job to Coventry for hosting the event. Yes, definitely. Salute to Coventry. Salute to uh, Gary Goodhart. Um. And I think he's going to do a lot more, you know, um, I told Gary, you need to get out more. You need to talk to some of these coaches, you know, you need to stop meeting these guys. I was like, they ain't that bad. They good people. But yeah, it's going to be interesting. Can't, can't wait. But this was basically what we had over there. I thought we had a whole bunch more pitches than this. I'm not sure, but I know one of salute to Gavin Cooney's parents. Uh, Gavin Cooney graduated. I think he's going to Bridgewater State University. His parents still come to the games and they take all the pitches. Which is uh we gotta get this coach to do some some push-ups. This guy right here. Nah, so to uh so to him. Look at this. Now look, Mikey, I like them shirts. Oh, oh, I got one of them. But I don't have one like Coach Kaleo has. I like that shirt. You gotta get that strategy in tug of war. Lean back. Put your back into it. Like all your weight. Lean back. Go watch Squid Games. This is what it's about. See some strong kids here. Let's go, Central Knights. That looks like he's struggling right here. Like, I don't know. It just don't look like uh, your body weight. It seems just, you know, but um, I think something like this, you had to be strategy along with it. You know, different events. It was going by time. And this kid and, and his brother, these two are twins. Big, big boys. 
every line coach should want these two kids right here. Like, Coach Goodhart is lucky. I would do some watermelon eating contests. I could, I could do that. A wing contest. Laugh out loud. Got to replenish. Crazy, 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 man. Nothing's better on a hot, hot day. Um, we, We'll get the watermelons and cut them up and slice them, put them in the refrigerator and some Tupperware. Nothing's better. You come in from outside on a hot day and, and you open up that container and psh, But I wanted to come with and give you all the results from this Lyman challenge. Um, if you want the numbers, if you need any of them, uh, reach out to me. I could definitely make it happen. But here we are right here. Oh, here we go. Here's the agility course. This is the one I was looking at. Uh, Westerly Big Dogs come out with that. Hendrickson is second. Coventry Varsity team. Comes in third, central, fourth, pilgrim inside the top five. A lot of these events, you know, you had um, Hendrickson was right up there inside, you know, in the top echelon. Um, this one, I figured a lot of people were going to struggle on. The 135-pound bench until fail. And Coventry, Westerly, Central. In Pilgrim, Hendrickson. I don't know how much off-season conditioning Hendrickson does. I think they just tell their players, "Listen, you guys got to work out off-season." Um, I don't know if they work out as a team off-season, but listen, y'all keep it real. Thank you. I appreciate it. Cumberland Clippers, stop being a little, stop with the BS stuff, man. You're denying a, a veteran. You, you know that only 8% of enlisted uh, soldiers become a lieutenant colonel? This dude's a lieutenant. He made it to a lieutenant colonel, special forces. Like, you know the bad MF stuff you got to do to be a lieutenant colonel in special forces? You know, like, and you won't let this guy coach. with, And he also coached for seven years. And then you want to kick a parent off a of public field like you can't kick people especially when it ain't even your field the city's letting you use this field so cumberland clippers get you like come on let's do the right thing here because you know mikey don't want to get in your his ass again again well salute to um blizzy blake it gotta be the shorts did y'all see the shorts blizzy blake had on and salute to these kids right here you already know the names if not you better recognize you better recognize yeah but a watermelon eating contest i'm down with that my little 150 160 pound ass is gonna um i challenge you let's go if anything i get free i get some free watermelon out of the deal. Did y'all see what they had going on in EP? The freshman sophomore passing tournament. This is going to gain a lot of steam. Yes, Team Pink pulled it out. They beat the three. Then the two seed. And Coach Blake, if you go back, I'm going to share it. I think... What did he only allowed like 10 points on the whole if and I, did they even allow any points on the day? Lieutenant Colonel approval leaders across the board. Let that guy coach. Yes, definitely. 8% make it to the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. Like there's no reason like and not only that combat. This dude seen combat like just to, yeah, let that man coach, man. Let that man coach. Or break my foot up in your ass. Um, let him coach, man. But the Lyman Challenge was definitely great. Um, again, if y'all missed it, happy birthday, Coach Steve Store. Anyone that knows Steve Store knows in this area, Steve Store did legendary things up there. 
at Cranston West. Yeah, I think he was the last D1 team to run all the way through the division, all the way, and win a state championship. So happy birthday, Steve. Still a great, great coach, legendary guy right there. Respect. Put some respect on my name. Him, Coach Bell, put some respect on his name. Blizzy Blake, put some respect on his name. And you already know your boy Mikey. You better put some respect on his name. Get ready, it's coming. You hunting or you running? Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Captain who's sailing the championship. championship. 